Hello everybody and welcome to your I believe 15 tutorial and in this tutorial well we basically finished off the farm under class we we know how to load in attributes and, and contents right and I didn't really explain um much much going on uh so I'm gonna try and explain it so basically the reason why we only um do this the attributes and such uh, only when the state is equal to contents is this is why we want each attribute to be identified by a content for example uh, uh, Let me let's let's look at this code right here. So for example Every single time whenever we add in a new uh, Content or so on and so forth. We know that uh, at temp content is gonna have a count of two, okay? So temp contents, um, the size is gonna be equal to two, right? And in there, it's gonna have load image, uh, image one, and it's gonna have load uh, image two, okay? So what we wanna do is that once we store those stuff in temp contents, and we're gonna put them in the contents, right? So we're gonna put them in contents. We want that our attributes dot size. Uh, at that time it's going to be equal to 2 and it's going to have the value image and image so it knows that uh, if this content is an image and it knows that this content is an image as well so that's why we store them so then we we know what we're referring to so uh, so for now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the the splash screen okay and uh, all these three attributes are going to be, uh, they're all going to be images. Uh, so I'm going to get to my uh, projects and I'm going to change it from test. Or actually, I'm going to make a new folder and I'll bring it to show it to you. But I'm going to be making a new folder and I'm going to call it load. And I'm gonna put the test.cme in there. What I'm gonna change it to is I'm gonna rename it to and the CME stands for coding made easy. But anyways, I'm gonna rename it to uh, splash. So this is gonna be for a splash screen. And just make this bigger and put it in a load folder. Okay, so we, we got that set up. Okay, so now back to our, our project. Uh, so where are we? Okay, so if we go to our splash screen, sorry, I got a, my solution. Is, is not showing my files. Hmm. Okay, I got it. So uh, in our splash screen, what we're going to do is we're going to open up splash screen dot H and we're going to uh, create an instance of file manager. And since we uh, included in the screen manager class and it should be fine over here. Uh, so in splash screen dot CPP, what we should do is that in our game screen dot H class, what we're going to do is that each game screen is most likely going to have to load something. So in the protected section, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add in three things. We're going to have file manager. So we have a file and uh, we're going to have our 2D vectors. So we have SCD vector. Uh, we have attributes. And if I could spell that right and make another 2D vector. and we'll call it contents so every single screen is going to have that by default and we don't need to uh, include that so it kind of takes a load off of us uh, and that's the great thing about object oriented programming no repeated code uh, so anyways what we're going to call in our load content method is we're going to call file that load content so we're loading from the file load slash splash dot cme so we just have to pass in the attributes 
and the contents. And if we wanted to in our splash screen dot on our game screen dot h, we could probably make a function or whatever that we can call from the game screen to just place pass in the file name and then it passes in the attributes and contents for us, but it's really um, work for no reason. So this is the great reason. Uh, this is the the reason why I set the file system like this, and it uh, it's great because it's very flexible, and you'll see why. So we're gonna loop to the attributes dot size, and we'll make a nested for loop, and I'll loop to attributes i dot size. So it's going to loop through um, all of the attributes that we have. And this is why it's flexible because our naming scheme for our file could be anything we want, right? We don't have to name it image, right? There's no strict rule set. It's flexible. You tell it. It's kind of like if you use XML, uh, yeah, like XML or whatever, and you, you create a content pipeline or whatever for it to to tell it what each thing does. Basically, you're basically telling it what each identifier, specifying each identifier, and, and letting us know what it does. Uh, so what what I mean by that is this. So what we're gonna say that I'm going to uh, I'm gonna say that if attributes i j actually instead of having to do that for every single one what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a string and we'll say att and that's gonna be equal to attributes ij uh, so it's just a shorter form of doing it so we're gonna say if att is equal to image uh, then we're gonna load our image so for now uh, what we got to do is we got to create an sf image in our splash screen dot h and we got to and that is it uh so let me just move this up so you can see the file names that i'm switching from so we're going to say that uh image dot load from file and we're loading in the content this time so contents i j okay and that is it so then what is going to happen if our in, if our attribute is image then we take the corresponding content that is equal to that image and we're going to load that um into our our image file right and what we should do is, is that we should um add it to the corresponding animation right away and what i mean by that is this uh they say on the sfml documentation that um the image file you should it's best to have like one um, image file and then have you can have like multiple sprite files because sprites are more lightweight right so we don't want to have to create multiple images if we don't need to uh, so what we're gonna do in our splash screen is that we're gonna uh, we're gonna create another vector uh, but it's gonna be of uh, fade animation and we'll call it uh, fade So I guess I have to do a pointer to it. Uh, I hope that so let's include fade animation, even though it should be inherited, but or because I uh because I it should be included already. But anyways, um let's include that. And what we're gonna do is that if we say that if it's an image, we load the image, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that uh fade dot pushback and we're going to push back uh, a new fade animation and then we'll say that uh, fade fade dot size minus one so the current one uh, we'll say dot load content and I'm not sure why that's not working but load content in our fade animation class, what do we need? So we need to text the image in a position. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to our, our splash screen. Uh, text image and position. So for our text, we have nothing. 
for our image we pass in the image file we just loaded and for position uh, our position is going to be uh, simply zero so what I'm going to do now is I'll call SF vector 2 2f position uh, and we'll put 0 0 so we'll pass in the position right there so we've set that up and I'm not sure why oh I believe that doesn't work because we need to put a pointer to it okay yeah so that's what we need to do we need to put a pointer to it and because we have pointers to it now uh, what we gotta do is we gotta in our unload content we gotta cycle through every single element so we gotta say fade dot size um, and then we gotta say delete uh, fade I and then after we'll just call fade I uh, fade dot clear so we don't have any dangling pointers so uh, I know we never really got to see any results or anything right in this tutorial but we'll, we'll get results in the next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, thanks for watching and bye